Okay, so next we'll add some support edges to our model so that we can apply a turbo smooth. So for that, first of all, uh, uh, let me start from this sharp edges. Uh, if you see, uh, if you add a turbo smooth modifier, let's say, so you can see that the result is what we don't like at all. So let us add some support edges. First of all, let me just select this one and then do a loop. Okay. Um, last time I just welded, it, but I think I need to again break them apart. I'm doing a chamfer. Okay. Okay. About this. Okay. Or maybe one more time. I think I forgot to increase segment by one. Uh, just mm, uh, do a chamfer with two segments and 0 0.26 amount. Uh, this settings I think will be pretty fine for me. I don't know about you guys. <coughs> you m it might differ a little bit, and uh, you can just go ahead and try on. Okay. So once again, if we try a try and add a turbo smooth. So it has hold little bit but still we are not getting that okay so we need to add some more uh, um, support edges so one we are going to be add um, from this side so go to edit poly select this one and then do a ring and then do a connect let me slide it down here about maybe minus 93 or maybe a little more than that, minus 97 is lesser than that okay and same to this side as well ring connect okay I think that'll be pretty fine okay okay now let's see one more time turn on the, our turbo smooth okay now you can see that this part is done okay now for this part, uh, we, we need to add two segments right here. Uh, let me just first select this one and do a loop, and then do a chamfer. Okay, that looks good. So you can again go ahead and test it, or you can also test it at final when everything's done, or you can just go ahead test on, and if something is wrong, you can go ahead and fix that at first only so that you won't face any problem later on okay now we need to add some support is right here as well so um, let me first select this one the ring and then the connect so this time not one I need two segments uh, I don't need any slides but pinch okay okay uh, I have added these segments right here, but it will just hold this part, this corner part, but it won't hold this corner edges. So that won't be sharp as we need it. So you can see, look, we don't have that. So we need to add segments from right here, here, and maybe around here as well. Okay, so select this one, do a ring, and then do a connect. This time again, only one segment no pinch and then slide slide it over about here minus 95 to this side as well connect okay and for this side we can just do a connect with two segments or without slides and pinch it okay so we had done I think uh, let's see how it looks okay this part sold up pretty good but here we have got some problem oh, we'll fix that let's see if we have got any problems in somewhere else yeah we have got here so this part is not l smoother as we wanted them to be Look, you can see that we have got some uh, ages right here so that's what we don't want that so let me just delete it to over smooth for now and let's see what we have what happened right in here okay uh, maybe we can just add some segments right in here as well just one connect 
and just single slide it okay maybe here as well connect okay and maybe for these two sides as well connect okay and this one connect okay okay and uh, since we added uh, one segment right in from here so we have got two segments in here so this another added one is supporting this one so we are not getting as smooth as we wanted so what we ha can do is go to top view and select uh, this part so and you can move it a little apart so that um, it don't, does not try to hold uh, these segments so if you didn't understand then you'll understand in just a minute um, okay when you apply again a turbo smooth about like this that'll be fine maybe you can also go ahead and play around to get a nicer curve okay okay uh, maybe this one a little bit like this and this one as well okay um, we have also some closer segments right here so we can move them apart okay uh, maybe down also okay uh, now let us test again with our turbo smooth turbo smooth two iteration iso line display so now we have got little more smoother now it looks better than before okay so we can uh, still play around with here something so you can see a little bit um, work needed over there so you can uh, al always go back to editable poly and then play around here or maybe add some results and write in from here as well so let me do that Oops, top view uh, select one of ages ring oh, sorry loop ring yeah. connect and then just at the middle one okay then you can play with the curve like this you can get a little more nice result okay so you might also want to add one at the bottom ring connect okay and then take some vertices to match the curve nicely okay and this one as well okay I think uh, it looks good Well, you can just play around with that later more if you want to but I'll stop tweaking those vertices because it'll uh, take more time so we can just do that I, that's not the difficult part okay so so you can see that we have got some sharp edges right here as well so maybe you want to do the same thing as we did right here so separate them a little bit further but be f careful do not mess with different vertices so you might want to zoom in and then select the required vertices and then again zoom out to position them properly okay okay uh, I think we're not getting a little bit curvier right here okay so we can just do that okay let me add a turbo smooth to that okay iso line display okay and that looks good so I think it's a little too bigger so let me just scale it down or maybe I can just reduce this one pull it back a bit this one as well maybe this one as well okay 
so uh, you can just duplicate it this on the other side just mirror it copy okay and move it apart okay so we have got our two blades so next thing we'll um, create our handle 